It's showtime! Woo! Back at it again. I do want to apologize for this video coming out a day later than I normally put these out. I am I am sorry about that. I just I was not feeling good yesterday and I didn't want to make a video when I just wasn't feeling good. So I hope y'all understand. But if you enjoy this video, helps you out, leave a like. If you enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content or just happy times and good vibes, hit that subscribe button. It's a nice big red button, why not press it? But let's get on into the news. First up, Super Saiyan God Vegeta, the yellow one, has gotten Zenkai awakened. From what I can tell, he isn't groundbreaking. He doesn't, you know, change the game. He's not you. Ha he's not one of those Zenkais you have to get. He can be useful, but I've heard people with higher end teams, he's more kind of like a bench unit. It's up to you if you want to get him. If you just enjoy Vegeta a bunch and want to go out and rock with him, hey, you do you, play with the game that makes you happy. You know, that's the whole point, being happy, enjoying the game. I would recommend that you use him on God Key because that's what he is buffing. You could run him on Vegeta Fam, but he doesn't really buff the other units, so that'd be up to you. But these are his stats. You can pause the video to uh, read through them. And, you know, if you haven't already done that. And if you don't have Vegeta at all, you don't have him at all, and you want to Zenka him, you can. It'll cost you 2,000 CC, but you can go buy those missions. It'll give you 3,000 Z power, which gets you from zero stars all the way up to seven. I actually need both hands for that. And then you'll be able to Zenkai him. It also gives you 1,200 Zenkai Awakening Z power. So you'll get him Zenkai 1 automatically. If you already have him, then if you have him 7 stars, then buying this would get you to 10 stars. Since every star level after 7 is 1,000 Z power per. So just keep that in mind if you want to get more stars on him to increase your Vegeta's power. Since 9 stars is the level that you want it at most you know, for the biggest power increase is nine stars, for those of you that did not know that. Then we have our new login bonus, which just log in every day, collect your bonus. It's easy as that. You don't even have to play. Just open up the app, click the login, collect it if that's all you want to do. There's that option. Then we have the Go Forth Galactic Patrol has returned. You can get a bunch of skip tickets and energy from this as well as if you make it to the last level. So make sure you do it every day because you only can do it one time per day. So do it every single day. You make it to the end, you can get 300 CC. So I highly recommend you just do it. It's really quick, simple battles. None of them are all that difficult. So just get to the end, get your 300 CC, get some skip and energy tickets along the way so you can use and earn more CC. It's just fantastic times all around. Then. We have the Beerus and Turtles story missions returning, which if you haven't beaten them, go through those, get that CC from those. And if you have done them, this is where you can get your adventures now. The Turtles is the seven hour adventures and Beerus is the three hour. So if you're looking for either of those length of time adventures, you can go get them from there. Then we have the other missions, which are boost missions. All of those for every color, the blue, red, yellow, purple, green, all the boost missions have returned. They cost 500 CC for you to do and you get Zenkai Souls from them. So if you're needing some Zenkai Souls, normal Souls, and you're willing to spend some CC on it, then hey, there you go. Go for it, get those missions done, collect those Souls. Adventure missions have reset, so make sure you're sending out those adventures, which again, as I mentioned, you can get seven hour from the Beerus and the three, uh, seven hour from the Turtles and three hour from the Beerus. My apologies there, messed that up. And when you complete all the adventure missions, you'll get a couple tickets for single summons on the Gogeta and the Broly banners as well as getting 200 CC. So again, another reason to just send those people out on adventures every so often. And then finally, 40 mil festival missions have reset. Do all those, you'll get 21 of those 40 mil festival coins, the golden coins, tokens, whatever you wanna call them. And you'll get another 200 CC. So that's 400 there, plus the Go Forth Galactic Patrol, that's another 300. That's 700 CC for really not doing all that much, just playing the game a little bit. So that's very nice. PVP has reset as well. So go collect your rewards from last season as well as start that grind on this season if you're trying to go for top 10,000 or top 1,000, top one. Whatever your goals for this PVP season, go out there and get on that grind if that's something you enjoy. And then we have the big news, the reason that you probably clicked on this video. Zenkai Kakarot, is it happening? Well, if you didn't know, the Kakarot event, which is the Goku, the Saiyan from Earth, it's the Dragon Ball Legends slash Kakarot game collab event. They had the unit out before. It's a free to play unit and it's coming back on the 10th of January. So this leads to the question, does this mean he's going to begin his Zenkai? His event's returning. 
and they have given us some free-to-play Zenkais recently. They gave us the Broly just like a few, a little while ago. This Goku would also be a red unit, and I don't know. I, I He's fun. I enjoy him. He has the cool little banish sidestep. It's kind of weird, like Janemba's, like, you're like, did they just vanish, or was that just a sidestep? You know, it makes, makes you wonder, but it's a cool animation. I really enjoy it. It looks really smooth and clean. And I don't know, he's, he's a fun unit in my opinion. Could he get zenkai I'd say it's possible. I I don't know, I think we need, you know, some more information on if he's going to be the next free-to-play Zenkai unit. We kind of did just get Broly. I know he's only coming out on the 10th, which is in a few days. So maybe we'll see. He'd be another red unit, but he would buff Sunfam. So that's, you know, always fun. He actually buffs more specifically Goku health. But Goku, of course, is run on Sunfam. Or say, Goku's run on every team, really, because he's Goku, so I guess it's not just. But I'm sure people would run him on Sunfam with the Gohans and the... You guys know. You guys know. So, hope this helped you guys out. If it did, of course, as I said before, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And, uh, whew, I'll be interested. I didn't 14-star my Kakarot the first time he came around, so this time I definitely plan on doing so. Will he get Zenkai? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you think he'll be Zenkai, or do you think his his event is just coming back for us to get to 14 stars for those who have it? Definitely possible that it's just that. Also possible could be for Zenkai. I say we need more kind of proof until, you know, it's guaranteed anything to be said. But I wanted to put that out there, put that idea in your minds just in case. So, hope you all are staying happy and healthy, and I'll catch you all tomorrow.